integral of 5x plus 3 into square root of 2x minus 1. We have to find out the integral of 5x plus 3 into square root of 2x minus 1. Now, how to solve this problem for that? We know that if we do not have the square root, we can easily find out the integral. So, we have problem with the square root. So, let us try to eliminate that square root. That is why what we will do? We will take whatever is there in square root as it is equals to another variable t. So, can I say that 2x minus 1 equals to t square? Now, let us differentiate it on both sides. We will have 2 dx equals to 2 into t into dt. Now, from that we understand that dx equals to t into dt. Now, if 2x minus 1 equals to t square, then what is 5x plus 3? We have to understand that. For that, let us write down 2x equals to 1 plus t square. That means x equals to 1 plus t square by 2. Now, once we know x, we can substitute here. We can get 5x plus 3. So, I will write down 5 into x in terms of t that is 1 plus t square by 2 plus 3. This whole thing is 5x plus 3. Multiply with square root of 2x minus 1 that is t and dx which we already know is equals to t dt. So, when we convert this given problem from x to t to remove that square root, what we got let us see, we will have 5 into t square, 5 t square by 2 plus 5 by 2 plus 3 multiply with t square dt which is equals to integral of 5 t square by 2 plus 5 by 2 plus 3 let us multiply with 2 both numerator and denominator 5 plus 6 is 11 so this is 11 by 2 multiply with t square dt so in the next step we can write that as now we will multiply with t square so we will have 5 by 2 t power 4 plus dt plus integral of 11 by 2 t square dt. Now, we need to find the integral of this which very easily we can do. After that, we will go back and substitute. Wherever t is there, we will write it as root of 2x minus 1 or 2x minus 1 whole to the power of 1 by 2. Let us go to the next step. In the next step, we will integrate them separately. Integral of t power 4 is t power 5 by 5. So, let us write down 5 by 2 into t power 5 by 5 plus integral of t square is t cube by 3. So, I can say 11 by 2 into t cube by 3 plus c that is equals to 5 and 5 will cancel t power 5 divided by 2 plus 11 by 6 t cube plus c. Shall we take there t cube by 6 common? What will be left out then? t cube by 6 we will have 3 t square plus 11 plus c. Now, we can write this as t is 2x minus 1 whole to the power of 3 by 2 divided by 6 multiply with 3 into t square that is 3 into 2x minus 1 plus 11 plus c. 
which is equals to 2x minus 1 whole to the power of 3 by 2 by 6 and in the bracket we will have 6x minus 3 plus 11 that is 6x plus 8. Now we can take 2 common there then our final step will be 2x minus 1 whole to the power of 3 by 2 into 3x plus 4 into 2 divided by 2 into 3. 2 and 2 will cancel. So, our last step is 2x minus 1 whole to the power of 3 by 2 into 3x plus 4 divided by 3 plus c. Therefore, integral of 5x plus 3 into square root of 2x minus 1 is equal to 2x minus 1 whole to the power of 3 by 2 multiply with 3x plus 4 divided by 3 plus c.